Feel the tension is now. I'll tell you when it starts going into the bracket. All right, guys, what's up? Rod here from Dyna Demos, coming to you from Trip HP underscore Junkie. Did I mess that up? No, that's good. All right, that's I good. always mess that up. That's good. So, uh, came out here to uh, ride with Trip and his boy Craig and the uh, bearded broker. Lego is not here right now. He's at the store, but uh, Trip and Craig getting me back on the road. What, what had happened was my rear motor mount bolts had sheared off and uh, I rode like almost okay. 200 miles like that and in the rain. Uh, you haven't lived until you've done that, but uh, Trip and Craig getting me back on the road. Getting me... Uh, All right, let's leave that one there. And let's start on, that one's almost... So what had happened was they sheared off and on the, the right side of the bike, the, uh, the threads to the bolts were still, were still threaded into the mount. So jacked the bike up, pulled everything off, went to Harley, got some new bolts. And now uh, Tripp and Craig are, are uh, putting the bolts back through the motor mount, into the mount of the true track. And... Uh, Hey, get me back on the road. We should be able to move the engine up. We need to jack it up. Okay. Um, should be. Yeah, let me try to go down, right? Yeah. Okay, stop. A little bit of play, but not much. Keep going. With the lift? Yeah. Okay. Trip, what do we got going on? Uh, <laughs> we have a broken uh, motor mount bolts. Um, luckily, we got the threads out, uh, got the bolts out, going back together, getting everything lined up on the rear motor mount so you can get home uh, in one piece and have a good working motor. So we're almost there. We're 95% there. So uh, we got to line it up and hopefully get you on the road. Hell yeah. Have some. What are you guys looking for? That top Allen doesn't look very, very friendly. Top Allen bolt has a little scratch on it. I'll make sure we get this in there all the way. I got it right here. What's that? Uh, yeah, I was looking for a little stubby extension. Oh. Yeah, you had a 5 right? I don't know. Uh, yep. Oh, I see what you're saying. A little. It's a ratchet that's all the way in. Oh. Well, does it go enough in to grab it? No, because if you put this on first, that's how you're going to round it. Yeah.
Cameras are on. How's that back one look, right? Or the front one? The front one's going still. You're threaded, so you're moving fine. It's just more of an angle on that swivel. And... Yeah, it looks fine though. It ain't cutting threads, it ain't pushing them out the bottom. That's good. Yeah. I don't want to drill them out and unbolt it, but that is a possibility. I think you're set, dude. I mean, both of them are about bottom through, so. The rear one looks like where it was before. an mp3 player Craig. Mm -hmm. it's a fucking bluetooth speaker speaker yeah, i got a record i got a vinyl player on the turntable in my house oh I like, I like the old school too i listen to a lot of records it's pretty solid mate. they look pretty even side to side it's the same as it was before the one looking at the cut hair in front there so they must be Look good? Yeah. No thread shavings laying anywhere? <laughs> Woo! No taps required in this garage. <laughs> here and it's keeping this from going all the way in and that's how it's rounding out so I'm just making sure it's set all the way before we keep going I don't know if that universal will work up there Let's see if I can fit this yeah.
quarter inch. They're tight, but they're not torqued. Let's see if we can get it. You know what? Let's just do this. Since that one fits in there.